All right, so here's a simple sheet that I have going. Um, it's completely blank at the moment. I just have a profile sheet with username, email, and avatar. I have a simple checklist with uh, three things to do in this task. And I'm going to go ahead and set up a new glide sheet from a Google Sheet. And I'm going to pick that new spreadsheet, which is untitled at the moment, because I just made it. All right, and so the first thing I'm going to do here is come into my settings and adjust the sign-in so that it's public with email. I'll also allow Google account as well. Afterwards, I'm going to go over here to the layout section and tap the menu icon. And here I see the avatar is, is blank at the moment. If I click on it, now I see a user profile section. And this user profile section allows me to save the user information to a sheet of my choosing. So I'm going to choose the profile sheet. And where the name is username, email is email, and image is avatar. I kind of recognize that for me automatically. However, I could have chosen different columns here. And if I want to turn this off altogether, I can turn it off altogether by flipping the dash here. But I want to keep it on, so I'm going to leave that as is. All right, so you can see it automatically recognizes my email here. Close. All right, and now let's set up this simple checklist. So here I already have the tasks, but I want to make this into a checklist. So to do that, I'll hit checklist. And here are my items. Uh, there is no description to this item. If I wanted to, I could have put in another description down here. For example, if I do a description, and um, I can say you know, feed pets, and then feed self, and then feed plants. And if I were to go back over here and refresh, now my checklists have descriptions. If I add a description, so I'll do uh, basic text. There's my description right there. Okay, I kind of also put this under the details here as well. All right, the next thing I have to do is designate where this value of being checked or unchecked is going to reside. Right now it's residing as the actual task, which I don't want because it's going to override my title with a true or false. So now I'm going to create a checkbox column. Now in the past, what I would have done is come over here to my sheet and created a column called completed and designated this column to be the recipient of the, of the checkbox. And so this column here would be the true false. However, this true false would have been universal to anybody who was accessing my app. So if I wanted to have these three tasks assigned to each user, I would have had to use some complicated formulas and some transpositions and things like that to make it possible. Uh, but now, instead, instead of creating the column here in my sheet, I'm going to go back to my app, and in the data editor for the checklist, I'm now going to add a column, and I'm going to make this a user-specific column. So I'm going to go over here to basic column, and then boolean, which is a true-false, and I'm going to call this completed. And you see now there's a checkbox here for column is user-specific. So I'm going to check the box for column is user specific. And now it says that the columns um, are stored within Glide, not in my sheet. So this checkbox, the true false, will not show up in my sheet. It'll only be available here in Glide. And Glide needs to add a row ID to the sheet to keep everything in sync. Fine. All right, so I'm going to add this row ID. So now I see I have a row ID column here with a unique ID number. And I'm going to hit Done. All right. So now I have this uh, true false for completed. And I have a row ID for this item. And now, because I said this was user specific, when I mark this true or false, it's going to mark it true or false for the individual user, not for every user in the sheet. All right, so now I need to adjust my layout. And so now instead of having the check value be the task, I'm going to come over here to be completed instead. All right, so if I check this box for do this first, okay. I now see that this box is checked. If I come over here to the data editor, I can see the box is checked here as well. Okay, But here's where the magic comes in. Let's say I'm signed in as somebody else. All right, so over here, instead of being me, I'm going to sign in as this user. Now, this user doesn't yet exist in my sheet because they haven't signed in. So they're not seeing any sort of uh, difference in the information. So when you get this user to sign in, all right, so let's try that. I'm going to go over here to share. 
I published the app. Yeah, let's copy that code and look over here to my other instance. And sign in. And I'll sign in with Google. All right, so here's me under my profile sheet. All right. So you see, I didn't enter in this information into the profile sheet. This was entered in for me. So if I come back over here to my untitled sheet, I'll go to the profiles. You see now, because this user signed in, this email address was automatically added to this sheet. I don't have to do any sort of crazy formulas like unique to look up the app logins or anything like that. It just shows up there. Okay. And it'll also automatically fill in the username and avatar of the user as well if you so have that set up. All right. And so now for the moment of truth, if I go over here to the simple checklist, I should see that nothing has been checked yet. And there isn't, right? Because uh, I'm a specific user. I'm a new user. Right? Okay, so let's give this another test. So right now I'm signed in as the app builder. And I'm going to check this first item here to mark it as done. And in the data editor, I see that it's been marked. And again for the third item. For my user, I see that those values have not been checked on my end. On my end, I'm just going to select the second item here. Okay. So two different users with the same checklist. All right, so now if I preview as that other user, you see that the value changes according to that user. So here, this was me, the app builder, and me, the user. So the data is specific to that user. Okay. So not only did we have a user-specific column here, but we also had the profiles sheet as well here. Now, what about the username and avatar, right? So that information can be added just by using a, a form or an edit, right? So let's say I want to have my users be able to edit their information here. Instead of making this a list, I can make it details. Right? It's going to show up for that individual user. I'm going to make the features so that the email is the signed in user. Right? And I can make it audible to edit. Okay. So right now, because I'm still showing up as me, my email, not, my email address is not in there because I haven't yet signed into the app. All I have to do is sign into the app just like the other user. Okay, so there's my information here. And now I can edit. So it's asking me if I edit my username and the avatar. Again, uh, those things should be different. Right? Username is fine. Avatar, that should be an image upload. So you can do one of two options. Either you can do the image picker here. Okay, or you can add a regular image and with that image the feature is they're uploading an image either one will work all right so let's add that to the top here all right so now if I want to add in my avatar I can just add in an image here and just give myself a username and done and I can adjust this title to show the avatar and the details Like so. Okay, I'm back on the this end here. If I were to give my app a little refresh. That's my profiles here. I can do the same thing. I can add in an image here and add a username. Okay. I got a checklist. It shows up. Even after refreshing the app, the, uh, the checklist shows up. And that information is independent from this information. And back in my sheet, all that information is now in here. And you'll notice that we didn't have to do any sort of relation columns or lookups. Um, all you have is just these three columns here, and these two columns plus the row ID and that Boolean that we created back here in the data editor to make all this possible. 
Alright, I hope this helps until an official video comes out. If you have any questions, feel free to email me.